Hi, uh, I'm Patrick. And I'm Rohan. And uh, this is our ECE 4760 project. What we did was uh, basically gut the internal control circuitry of this plotter and kept just the motors for the pen movement and a solenoid for pen actuation and uh, recreated a kind of whiteboard plotter that will take an image uh, from the computer, extract the data points, and recreate it on this whiteboard surface for easy markup and uh, annotation. So what we have inside here is, uh, this is our original prototype of the circuit. We have a soldered uh, solder board on the inside of this, but the microcontroller, the PIC32, will send PWM signals through these isolators to the H bridges to control the two motors, uh, as well as a uh, just simple digital signal through, again, an isolator and a FET to control the pen actuation on and off. Okay. And it receives the data points from our MATLAB program over UART. And, and you might mention that this plotter original, originated in the 80s, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Before it's you, pretty old. It's pretty old. And so the high-level control... Yeah, so we have this MATLAB GUI here where we're able to load a uh, PNG image that I have saved on my computer. Um, we can scale it up and down to see how it'll fit on the whiteboard because, you know, we have a limited space. Um, we can set the... Uh, threshold of how easily we can detect the lines in this image. So if I do it with this threshold, there are some extra lines, so maybe I'll increase it a little bit. And uh, that looks pretty good. So now I can send this data over a UART serial, wired serial connection to the plotter, and as soon as I click this, it'll start drawing. And so now it's up and way of drawing these lines. Um, vertical and horizontal lines are pretty simple. Uh, to create angle lines, we keep one of the motors at full speed and lower the speed of the other one based on a linear mathematical relation that we empirically determine. And uh, basically the plotter knows when to stop each line based on the pos positional feedback given through the uh, potentiometers in the plotter. Uh, one problem we ran into is that the motors go so quickly that once we tell them to stop, they coast for a little bit. So we had to collect some more data on how long they coast and uh, correct for that on the high-level MATLAB side before we send the data. So we send it a little bit shorter lines to compensate for the other shape. Well, looks good. So, yeah. so here's the as drawn, and here's the original layout plus the MATLAB abstraction. Yeah, and okay. so and anything, even even the couple of little defects in the red version are reproduced correctly over here. Right. So mm -hmm. pretty much any defects we see on the whiteboard are probably a defect of the image processing, not of the actual hardware. Um, anything interesting. With, uh, any image with straight lines, the MATLAB will be able to detect those, and anything we see on this side should be able to get reproduced on there. We have. Uh, at least five degree accuracy from uh, five degrees to eighty five, as well as horizontal and vertical lines. Yeah, I see. So in terms of slope. Yeah, in terms of slope. Got it. Okay, very cool. Thank you.